got an irate fan who appears to be taking out his aggression on the small child. Little disturbing, but you know, what are you gonna do? They serve alcohol here. This is one match I'm excited to see. And his opponent, weighing in at 200 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Scott Ross. It would appear that Scott seems to be the crowd favorite here tonight. Getting quite the reception from the fans. Uh, I think that if, uh, if, if crowd sentiment goes to, uh, towards a particular wrestler's favor, I think Scott's got the advantage here. The ball is definitely in Scott's court in this matchup. And uh, now in recent months, Scott Lost has, has went through, uh, went down the laundry list of defeating former Pro Wrestling Gorilla World Champions. Joey Ryan remains. Whoa, look at that. Scott went for the Superman Spear, but Joey got his knees up. Well, well scouted. Joey there. Ryan, not a, a lung blower. I guess that was a, a shoulder, shoulder blower. blower. Yeah, you can tell Joey. <laughs> Joey, what, what is this? Wow, Joey Ryan. Joey, this is. I think that I think that is somebody. I think that might be Bobby Quantz in a Joey Ryan mask. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And a Joey Ryan bodysuit. He's or, really, you know, targeting that shoulder of Scott. I think he's trying to kill that Superman or that Superman sphere right off the top of the the, the match here. Or should I say, Joey Ryan fat suit. There you go. There we go. But you've seen Bobby Quantz. He's not a big man. No, no. He could fit in there. Oh, Joey Ryan, once again, the shoulder uh, DDT. Two count from Patrick Hernandez. Scott able to kick out, but he did kick out with that left shoulder, and that allowed Joey Ryan to get him in this... Uh, wow, look at that submission hole it's, right it's there. A, it's a hammer lock, but he's got the... It's, a, it's almost like a leg capture hammer lock. Yeah. Uh, he, he's going for the jugular here early. He wants to end this thing. He, I think he does not want to be the next on the list of former champions <laughs> defeated by Scott Laws. Very good point. Scott's been on a tear here in singles competition at PWG. He looks to continue that here with a win over not only the former champion, but his former tag team partner on more than one team. That's right. And, you know, these two have had their troubles in the past. But every time, every time that it's come down to this, every time Joey Ryan and Scott Loft have met in singles competition, Scott Loft always comes away with a victory. So, I mean, that's something that Joey Ryan, even though he, he might have been the, the more charismatic member of the dynasty, you know, it's something that he's always carried in the back of his mind that he's never been able to beat yeah. Scott Loft in the singles competition. Uh, I'm sure that eats at him because, you know, looking at the team, the, the successful teams they've had, not only the dynasty but the X Foundation in the past, uh, I think Scott might have been looked on as the workhorse of the team, and, and Joey resents that, and I think he's got out here to prove a point tonight. That's right. I mean, for, for as much as Scott, uh, Scott wants to have that fan recognition. When he, when he had Joey there, you know, Joey's, I mean, he's such a big personality. Chris Bosch, such a big personality. A very good point. Very, very much overshadows Scott Lost. And, you know, I think Joey Ryan, you know, he kind of has the inverse of that, where, you know, he's like, he, he's a competent technical wrestler. He, he can hold his own in the wrestling ring, as proven okay. by his 13-month uh, Pro and Gorilla World Championship title reign. Right. And, uh, you know, I mean, he, he wants to show that he's... Oh, look oh, at that! My. Joey Ryan went for the leapfrog, but came down on the fork of the road. Wow. Wrong place at the wrong time for Joey Ryan. That quick, the tide to turn. And, you know, so, I mean, while Scott Moss wants to, wants to have that fan recognition as being a, uh, you know, a charismatic wrestler, Joey Ryan wants to have that recognition of being a, uh, you know, somebody that, that has the ability to carry, carry the workload of a tag team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you, you mentioned his 13-month-long uh, reign as PWG World Champion, and a lot of fans might look back to that and say, hey, you know, he used a lot of questionable tactics to come out of a lot of those title defenses with that belt intact. But that's what makes him a great wrestler. It's not just what you can do in the ring. It's the psychological battles. It's the psychological warfare against your opponents. And, and Joey's been excellent at that over the last couple of years. Now, there's something that's played a role in the first two matches of the oh, sliding dropkick from Scott Loss. Almost like the, the dropkick that put down Joey Ryan in his match last month with Miruki Doi. Yeah. The sliding dropkick, that, that same dropkick that Doi used to, to fell uh, Akibono. That's right. I mean, if it's going to take out Akibono, no doubt it's going to take out Joey Ryan. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Something that's been, been a factor in the first two matches of, this, of the evening. The 2009 Battle of Los Angeles. It's coming up. Brandon Gatson qualified. He and Kevin Steen are now the first two men announced for the tournament. 
And uh, Scott Loss would like nothing more than to have a victory over Joey Ryan, to have a victory over another former Pro Wrestling oh, yeah. World Champion, and to have that momentum carrying him in to the 2009 Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, I know he hasn't been named an official entrant yet, but he's got to be considered uh, for one of the brackets. I mean, especially with the tear he's been on lately against all these former champs. I mean, a, a victory over Joey tonight would almost guarantee it, where, you know, a victory for Joey tonight would, I guess, almost guarantee Joey yeah. a spot in the 2009 Battle of Los Angeles. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's that's kind of, kind of the unofficial theme of this show. You know, there's so many singles matches. You've got uh, D David Richards just defeated Kenny King. I would say David, that puts David Richards in tremendous standing for the 2009 Battle of Los Angeles. Also, because he's a former Battle of Los Angeles winner. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very good point. Right the strong. second one, right? That's right. Yeah. 2000, uh, 2006. Six. Yeah. Yes. Defeated uh, defeated Seema in the finals. Wow. Scott Loss getting in the face of this fan. This young he's lady. Right back at to the side. Patrick Hernandez trying to... Now, you know, the, 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 the crowd seems to be 90-10 in favor of Scott Loss tonight, but I think that 10% is right there in the front row. <laughs> yeah, I think you're a right. Good, good portion of that 10%. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it always, it's sad to me when I see two guys who have been good friends, tagging partners for many years, going at each other with this type of ferocity. I mean... Joey well, Ryan just punched Scott Loss so hard his oh, bandana his fell his off. His scarf went flying. And, and I, I think I think Joey Ryan, he turned his attention to the bandana that allowed Scott Loss to hit him with that judo throw. Yeah, and I've noticed he's been using that judo toss a lot the last few months. And to great effect. Great effect. It's a simple move, but it's been doing it's been getting the job done. Scott Loss charging in. There's Superman the spear. spear! And that shoulder not showing any ill effect. No, he seems to shrug off any uh, any ill effects he was feeling. Look at this. Body scissors from Scott Lost into a pinning predicament, but now just just crushing Joey Ryan's midsection like a vice. Wow, you know, how these, Joey can breathe, I don't know. These these two men had the first and uh, to my knowledge only ladder match here in Pro Wrestling <laughs> Gorilla. That's right. To determine the uh, PWG Tag Team Championship. That's that they right. won for myself and Super Dragon, yeah. actually. <laughs> that's what sons of now bitches. Go back to what, 04 maybe there? Uh, yeah, 04. Yeah, 04, definitely. Wow. Hard to believe PWG's been around over six years. That's right. Come, approaching six and a half years, it does not seem like that long at all. No, it seems like six shows maybe. And I think I think these two men might have spent more time uh, at odds with each other than it's, as tag team partners. I mean, they're, they're known, well known as tag team. Oh, wow. Jumping in Siguri. Caught Joey Ryan on the back of the head, knocked him down to the canvas. I mean, they're known quite quite rightfully so as great tag team partners, multiple-time Pro Wrestling Gorilla World Tag Team Champions. Yeah. But, I mean, a lot of the six years of Pro Wrestling Gorilla, these two men have not seen eye to eye. And that's the, their relationship has kind of slid in, back into that territory. Yeah, it's kind of strange. They've kind of gone back and forth. I mean, with the formation of the Dynasty a year or however long ago that was. That was, see, I think, two, three I years ago. I guess it was, huh? Uh, it seemed like, you know, they were kind of back on the mend, and, and uh, once again, a, a happy little stable, but, you know, success will do that to you, or lack of success. Well, the, you know what it was? The, the breaking point was that tremendous two, when Joey yeah. Ryan was facing Chris Hero in the, the Guerrilla right. Warfare match. Joey Ryan had just assumed yeah. that Scott Loss was going to help gonna him out. going to be there for him. Yeah. And, uh, and Scott Loss, just, he, he got sick of take, taking uh, Joey Ryan having the friendship oh, taken for granted. Wow. And that super kick may be the, the complete end of any sort of friendship between Joey Ryan and Scott Laws. And, man, and that just, he just pulled that out of his back pocket, and uh, that is a devastating move. One of the best in the business right there at the super kick, Joey Ryan. He had it chambered, and he was just waiting for the right opportunity, and it was right there. Found its mark. Scott Laws, you can see his head is just spinning. They want to see him in the Battle of Los Angeles. They want to see him winning. That's right. And but a big splash to the corner. Joey Ryan comes off. Wow. Lowe's line. Back elbow. Joey Ryan, a man possessed. The double cross chop to the chest. Joey Ryan pulling out all sorts of moves I've never seen him use before. Her Her the bottom. Bottom. Wow. Joey Ryan. This is incredible, Knox. The fans part like the Red Sea wisely. Does that make does it make Scott Moses or Joey? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we'll leave that to our Jewish brothers. Whoa! Elbow suicida right into the stage. Scott Loss just smacked the back of his head against the stage. And that chair had nowhere to go. And, and Greg, you see Patrick's down there checking to make sure that these guys are still conscious. What a devastating move. Scott Loss just crashed hard into the he hit his head on the on the back on the stage on that chair wow after joy ryan just flew in with that elbow suicida at a very
very high velocity. You can tell he's like trying to clutch his fingers, make sure he's still got feeling in that left hand. He might have had some nerve damage there. Might have gotten a bit of a stinger. Absolutely. Joey Ryan back in the ring he goes. And that fan's pitcher of beer just barely missed oblivion. Scott Lost though back up to his feet in the corner. Joey full head of steam. Eats the boot after he charges the corner. Wow! wow. Slam by Joey nice Ryan. Done. I'm impressed. A page out of Carl Anderson's book. Yeah, he learned that from, from Carl, that's for from, sure. From the man he calls his best friend. Yeah, that's another good point. These guys have known each other so years, but when it came down to it, Joey said Carl Anderson was his best friend in the business. Just rough assault the wounds of Scott Lost. Goes for the super kick. Wow. Whoa. Oh, big fat kill. Nobody home for the big fat kill. Came out of the suplex. Face buster on the canvas. Hook of the leg. One, two. No, only a two count. Wow, how Joey is kicking out of this, I, I don't know. And Joey Ryan, I mean, that just goes to show his, his tremendous technical ability. He knew he was in position for the big fat kill. He knew it was coming. Yeah. He's seen how many men it's put away. Scott Lawson with it. the butterfly kick. He's well scouted. Scott He's lost it. He missed it, and Joey Ryan caught him in, in the, the pump handle suplex. Goes for the running boot. Cutter. Ace Crusher puts him down. Hook of the leg. Two. No, says wow. Patrick Hernandez. Fans are on their feet for this. They want to see Scott win. Scott lost back up to his feet. Joey Ryan being brought up to his feet by Scott Lost. Scott picking Joey up to the top rope. Scott draping the, the right leg, now the left leg over the top rope. What does he have in store? Perhaps the, the superplex? I, I gotta guess he's going for a superplex or something here. Scott is uh, firing in some, some clubbing blows to the spine of Joey Ryan. Now, now to the kidney, those right hand shots. He's, I mean, he's got, a, he's got his knuckle, it's almost like a knuckle arrow to the kidney. You know, you get hit in that spot at the, in the, with the right force, and you basically lose control of your bladder, and we don't want to see that happen. They are, this is, a, this is a pitch battle up on the top rope. Here comes a superplex. Wow! Superplex from Scott Loss into right a big predicament! This could be it. No! Wow. And Scott Loss can't believe it, he thought he had Joey Ryan put away. I thought he had him put away. Look, Patrick's telling him it was only two. Scott thinks he won. Scott, that was a beautiful float over for him into the into the suplex. Great presence, or from the suplex. Great presence of mind for Scott Lost. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of times you see you see a lot of precious moments lost after the move is hit before the pinfall actually takes place. But he used his own recoil to, to bounce right on top for the pin. Scott Lost stripping off the elbow pads. He means business. Big fat kill. Wow. Joey Ryan blocked it. Pulled him out of his spear from Joey Ryan. He can pull, that's another thing he can pull out of his back pocket at any point. Power bomb. It's gotta be it. Stuffs him. No. Oh, look at this. Back, in back to the submission. I think, I think all that work he put in on the left shoulder of Scott Lost is now paying dividend. It's got to, and he's right in the middle of the ring. I don't know how he's gonna get to the rope. He's got, he's got Scott not, not completely in that leg vice. No, he's, I, he's a, got a few inches. Look at the fans are trying to push the ropes over to him. Doesn't look like Joey Ryan has his legs crossed, and that allows Scott Ross to get his there you go. to get his foot and drape it across the bottom rope, forcing Joey Ryan to break the submission hold. Joey Ryan back up to his feet. Now you really have to look at that Scott Loss. He went, to, he went to, to feel what damage was done to his back, but he instantly brought his shoulder out after he, he felt the, the effects of that. Shoulder to the midsection from Joey Ryan. Sunset flip. Sunset flip. Scott rolls him through. Oh, oh big fat kill. kill. One, two, three. Scott Loss just smoked him with it. And now he defeats Joey Ryan. He's 4-0 against Joey Ryan at PWG. And the fans got what they wanted out of that one. The winner of this contest, Scott Lowe. Huge victory.